Your morning news now, a group of lacrosse kids are planning for the future of their school. Seventh graders at Lincoln Middle School spent the last month making detailed plans for the school's redevelopment. Some kids wanted to tear down the building, while others made a plan to remodel it into a shelter. This is the 12th year of that project, and teachers say this is a great exercise for learning teamwork while also practicing their math, art, and social studies skills. It's just so fun and engaging and real. I think that's the power of this. It's a real thing they're doing, um, and not just uh, 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 like a worksheet of problems or something, but it's a real life thing. Real lacrosse city planners have been helping students along the way. And two Bangor schools are taking time away from classwork to help the community. On Wednesday, students at Bangor's middle and high schools participated in a day of service. They volunteered around the area at places including senior living homes. News 8 now visited one group at Sparta's Morrow home. That group spent much of the morning hanging up Christmas decorations. One student says she learned lessons that she will carry for years. I learned how to work with other people as a group and how to appreciate like all the work that other people do for us without even thinking about it. This day was also an opportunity for middle and high schoolers who don't see each other that often to make memories together. Temperatures this morning are mainly in the 50s and those upper 50s will last through at least the late morning hours and then warming up into the low 60s by 11, followed by the low 70s come later this afternoon, but skies will be turning pretty cloudy. Plus, Wafer Food Pantry is kicking off community funding for a building project. On Wednesday, Wafer leaders showed off images of what the new pantry will look like. Wafer is already renovating the former Gordy's Grocery Store in La Crosse's north side. Pantry leaders want to make picking up food a more grocery-like experience. They believe that having a location in the middle of a neighborhood will be vital. We serve people, but we're in an industrial park. We don't serve businesses. And I'm thrilled that we're going to be right at that critical intersection on the north side because it's right in the middle of the people we serve. Those renovations will be complete next spring. If you would like to donate to Wafer's Cause, we'll have a link for you on news8000.com. A 150-year-old house in Dane County has a brand new roof, all thanks to a donation. But crews didn't do it for the building. They did it to honor the man who lives inside. Pete Ponte is a Vietnam veteran, and he's lived in his Marshall home for 50 years. Ponte's friend heard about a local company offering a free roof to a veteran and nominated him. Ponte found out a few weeks ago, and crews showed up Wednesday morning to get started. I wish uh, we'd have a little more patriotism in our country with people like these Heinz contractors. And, uh, Jordan Exteriors put all the windows in our VFW, didn't charge us anything for them. We need more people like that to appreciate us more. And I'm just, I'm overwhelmed by everything that they are doing for us. Ponte says he's humbled and honored by the gesture. This is the third time that Heinz Contracting has given away a free roof to a veteran for Veterans Day. Well, a big three-state railway project is reaching the final design stages. The Department of Transportation in Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Illinois, along with Amtrak, are working on adding another round-trip rail service. That service will run from the Twin Cities through La Crosse and to Chicago. Construction is set to begin next year. Wisconsin rail officials say calls for better rail service are growing. I think the passenger rail industry, we do see a lot of demand, especially with the younger generations. They, they're, they're really looking for this type of transportation and uh, it, does, it provides alternate choice. That construction is expected to end in 2024, but the second round trip service might be available sooner. WizDOT is still taking public opinions. If you'd like to share them, we posted a link on our website. That is news8000.com. A few clouds out there this morning. Temperatures in the 50s, 65 degrees, warmer here by noon. Our high today should reach around 72 degrees come late today, but we will be looking at some increasing clouds, making things relatively overcast later today. But at least we're still pretty warm today, though, Emily. An unusually warm day yet An again. An unusually warm day yet again. But there are changes, though. There are. Coming, this coming weekend. up. Yeah. I know it'll be rainy. It's going to be wet here Friday and Saturday. We need it, I'm sure, right? Yeah. I'm so sure. The maybe. farmers would say. Yeah, exactly. Stay <laughs> yeah. inside. Indoor, out, indoor activities. <laughs> exactly. Well, it has been wonderful to do the morning with you. Yeah, you too. Thanks yeah. for being here. I'm yeah. sure our viewers loved it. So Jordan will be back tomorrow. Don't worry if you're a big Jordan fan. <laughs> <laughs> but do not forget to keep up with the news of the day on news8000.com. And we will have all the latest updates to today's top stories and weather on yep. News 8 Now at noon. We hope you have a great day. Thank you for joining us.